day one, only a short day, but a big accident and a, and a, a favorite for this event, Lee Hopper, he's out of the rally. A little bit unfortunate, he's taken out a power pole and a water main and uh, the lines were across the road, so the rest of the competitors couldn't come through, but they were all right. I guess that's the main thing. We had a great day in the Eco Light Evo, just a little bit in front of Tony Quinn and Jason Gill's right here as well, although he has had some gearbox problems, they're going to change that tonight and he'll be back at full speed in the morning. I'll be keeping my eye on him because he goes very fast, it's a big day down the road. That was the Andrew Sims four wheel drive category, in modern, the pace man is Clark Proctor. This year again everything's replaced and the car feels strong and there's less mechanical noise in the car than there ever has been ever from day one. So. It's really, really strong and today, to be honest, I, I, I just took it quite easy and just went up the middle of the road. I hate texting nicely, Sue's happy how I'm driving and um, it's a real good start, but real great start. The big story in the classic class, it's not all about Kirkman ads and BMWs. We have Jason Easton and Bevan Claridge, an American and Australian muscle, doing some fantastic times and leading the way. It's going to be a good battle between those two tomorrow and to see if the BMWs on the tighter, twistier stuff can start to pull their way back. Speaking of V8s, there's a certain little Fiat that was trying to chase one down and it didn't end well. Um, I was trying to catch a Corvette that was in front of us and we could see him and uh, yeah I just overcooked it really. Going too fast in the corner and locked up halfway through so bad result. Oh no!